Stud wall soundproofing relies on three core components. We add mass with layers of soundproofing board, we decouple with a mute clip channel system, and we would add acoustic insulation into cavity spaces. Now for stud walls in particular, these three elements are incredibly important because stud walls themselves are not very good at soundproofing. This is because they have a low mass and a lot of cavity space. The low mass means that they're not able to insulate your room against airborne noises such as music and talking, and the cavity space is susceptible to the drum effect. And in short, the drum effect is when sound gets caught inside a space and reverberates around, which actually amplifies the original noise, much like an acoustic guitar. So when we use a system like the one on the desk here, we are adding a sufficient amount of mass to be able to insulate you. It reflects airborne noise and prevents sound leaving your room, but also prevents sound getting in. We use a mute clip and channel system here, which creates a physical gap between your original wall and the new soundproofing panels. It makes it far harder for sound to get through your wall and radiate out the other side. And then inside the cavity, we would use acoustic grade mineral wool of 45 kilograms per meter cubed or higher. Now, a common question we get when it comes to stud wall soundproofing is, can I soundproof my existing stud wall without removing the plasterboard? And the answer is no. Now, the reason for that is we need to get inside the cavity here and ensure that it's filled with acoustic grade mineral wool to prevent the drum effect. If we don't do this, it's going to massively compromise your soundproofing system and you can't use spray injected foam because it doesn't have acoustic quality. Now, another thing to address in stud wall soundproofing is your budget. We'd actually suggest that you don't start with your budget, you start with how much space you're able to lose. Now, you might think that this sounds a little bit odd, but the reason is we actually have systems that are able to reduce more sound and cost less, but they just take up a little bit more space. Systems that don't take up a lot of space at all and don't include the mute clip here actually cost around £20 per meter squared more at the time of recording but can't block as much noise. It's very difficult to block noise without using much space and this is why the materials that we use for those systems are more expensive. We would always suggest, if you're able to, to use a mute clip system on your stud wall instead of a direct -to wall system. It can work out cheaper and also your sound reduction is far better. Over on our website, we have bronze, silver and gold stud wall systems. These all use the mute clip system and then have different layers of soundproofing board on top. In general, if you have the space and the budget, it's best to use different levels of mass on top of your mute clip system as this will actually protect you from a wider range of sounds. Different levels of mass have different resonant frequencies and we'll bring up a chart on the screen now for you, but a resonant frequency is like a natural weakness in a material and you'll see it as a small dip in the graph. By using different materials of high mass, we're able to smooth this dip out and give you a better level of soundproofing. So if you want to find out more about our bronze, silver and gold systems for stud walls, head over to acoustic.co.uk or pick up the phone and one of our team will be happy to help.